This is Lesson 7.5, Parts of Similar Triangles. Your objectives are to recognize and use proportional relationships of corresponding segments of similar triangles and to use the triangle angle bisector theorem. When two triangles are similar, corresponding altitudes, angle bisectors, and medians are proportional to the corresponding sides. Find x for number 1. We have two triangles with the medians drawn. Remember the median goes from a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Well, the medians are proportional to the sides. So let's match pieces up. The median on the left is 20. The median on the right is x. The side on the left is 36, and the side on the right is 18. So let's set up our proportions using those values. Median over median equals side over side. Go ahead and cross multiply and solve. So x is 10. The medians are proportional to the sides. So match them up, organize it, set up your proportion, and solve. Number two. Here you have two similar triangles and the angle bisectors. You know they're angle bisectors because you can see the two angles are cut into two congruent halves. The angle bisector on the left is 9 and the one on the right is 6. The side on the left is 12, and the side on the right is x. Make your proportion and organize it properly. For the angle bisectors, do 9 over 6. For the sides, do 12 over x. And cross multiply. When you solve x equals 8. The angle bisectors are proportional in similar triangles. Number three. Here we have two similar triangles and their altitudes drawn. It's the altitudes because it goes from a vertex to the opposite side, hitting the opposite side at a right angle. The altitude on the left is 3, and the altitude on the right is x. Those are proportional the same way the sides are. The side on the left is 4 and the side on the right is 3. So set up your proportion. For the altitudes, 3 over x. For the sides, 4 over 3. We organized it. Left triangle over right triangle equals left triangle over right triangle. Now cross multiply and solve. You get 9 fourths. The altitudes are proportional to the sides in similar triangles. The triangle angle bisector theorem says that an angle bisector in a triangle separates the opposite side into two segments that are proportional to the lengths of the other two sides. Find the value of each variable. Number one. Here you have a triangle with the angle bisector. You can see that angle cut in two. The rule says that the side that that intersects is cut into lengths that are proportional to the remaining two sides. The way to pair things up is just the way that things are sitting in the picture. On the left, you have a 25 over 20. And on the right, you have x over 28. Cross multiply and solve. When you have the angle bisector that cuts the opposite side up like this, just remember, it is proportional, and you can set it up using the way the values are sitting in the picture. In this one, x is 35. In 
lesson number two. Here we have an angle bisector that cuts the opposite side into two parts. Those parts are proportional to the other two sides. Look at the way the numbers are sitting in the picture. Make your proportion using the same positions that those numbers are in already. The left fraction will be 15 over A. The right fraction will be 9 over 3. Cross multiply and solve. For this one, A equals 5. Just remember, when you have the angle bisector, it cuts the opposite side into parts that are proportional to the other two sides of the triangle. That part A will match that side 15, and the part 3 matches that side 9. Number 3. We have an angle bisector that cuts the opposite side in two. Those two parts are proportional to the other two sides of the triangle. Notice though, we don't know the opposite side part that's on the left. The right part's in. The whole thing is 46.8. To get the left side, do segment addition, which would involve taking the whole thing minus the part you know. So that will simply be 46.8 minus n. When you don't know one part, do the whole thing minus the part you know. And now you can set up a proportion. You can use the values just the same way they're sitting in the picture. 46.8 minus n over 36 equals n over 42. We're not going to use 46.8 because it's not a part that we need. We'll only use the other parts. The two sides and the two parts of the third side. So go ahead and cross multiply. Make sure you put 46.8 minus n in parentheses and remember to distribute properly. And once it's all worked out, n is 25.2. The angle bisector cuts the opposite side into two parts that are proportional with the other two sides of the triangle.